Namaste and welcome to this meditation on abundance. Before we get started, I'd like you to just stand up and start to shake your body, start to move your fingers, move your body, just start to do like a spot jogging so that if you're feeling a bit tired or the energy is a bit constricted, let it just start to flow again. So you come into a state of flow. Wow. It's another 10 seconds of moving of the body. You can do any movement. In jump, spot, jog. Wonderful. Now, I'd like you to lie down. Just lie down. If you don't have access to a place where you can lie down, just sit. Sit with the eyes closed. What we'll be doing now is we will tense different parts of the body and then relax them. So either lying or sitting comfortably. Bring your awareness to tighten the muscles of the feet. Calves. Hamstrings, thighs and glutes. Tighten all these muscles, make it really tense, tense, relax. Tighten now your fists, forearms, fists, forearms, upper arms, chest, stomach, thorax, back muscles, shoulder. Tighten, stiffen the body, relax. Last time, tighten the entire body, tense the feet, calves, thighs, butt, stomach, fists, arms, chest, shoulders, face. Tighten the entire body, stiffen it all up, little more and relax. Now, sitting straight, either on the floor, and if you need, you can take the wall support, or on a chair, having your back straight, yet comfortable. Take a few seconds to align and find your most comfortable position so that for the next 25 minutes you don't have to move. And as you sit comfortably, begin to breathe in and out deep Inhale, awareness from the base of your spine to the eyebrow center. Exhale, awareness down the spine. We'll try that again. Inhale, awareness up through the spine to the eyebrow center. Exhale, down the spine to the very base. Inhale. Exhale. For the next five breaths, breathe in. You find a cool white light moving up your spine to the eyebrow center. Exhale with this white light going down to the base of your spine. Inhale, white light up to the eyebrow center. Exhale down to the base of spine. Four more times, breathe in.
breathe out. Three, breathe in. Breathe out. Two, breathe in. Breathe out. And last time. Now that you're still and your breathing has settled and become deep and slow, bring your awareness to the night sky. Remember the last time you were out in nature, maybe camping, trekking, and you could look up to the sky and see the millions of stars and galaxies. What we want to draw from this memory is this tremendous state of abundance. The cosmos is in a state of abundance, plenty. As a part of this abundant cosmos, we want to inculcate that in our own lives. open up to life's possibilities And bring your memory to the last time you were near, in nature, you were near a water body, a river, a glacier, the sea, a lake or the ocean. And bring to mind the trillions and trillions of litres of water, of droplets abundance of water. Wherever you look to the horizon, you can only see the sea, the ocean. Let us expand our mind, body and heart to this state of abundance. It is important for us to step out of our homes, out of our cities and very often to have an opportunity to see Mother Nature in her true abundant glory. And bring to mind the last time you were in a jungle, a forest, where the abundance of plants, trees, forest, green, flowers, fruits, unlike the small gardens we have in our houses, on our balconies, in the forest it's abundance all around. We have looked up to the night sky to be inspired by the abundant stars. 
We have looked deep into the horizon to be inspired by the abundant oceans. And we've looked into the forest to be inspired by the abundance of trees. Let us now bring this state of abundance into the unique facets of our own life. First, the energy that I have today, can I visualize this as a candle flame at the center of my chest? How big is my candle flame? How bright does it burn? This is the energy that I have. Can I, inspired by nature, start to make my flame more and more abundant? This is not a fire that's going to rage me, ravage me. This is a flame that is going to throw light to every aspect of my life and to everybody who is part of my life. Can I become abundant with the energy that I have and as a visualization make my candle flame an abundant flame, bonfire? To become as big as the sun itself, as the biggest source of energy for life on earth, the sun gives us its abundant energy every day without ever asking whether we are worthy of it or no. Mother Nature gives us her gifts without questioning our worthiness to receive. Why then do we lack an abundance? Let us open our life, open our energy, so that we have abundance. And let's look at a few aspects where this abundant energy can heal and improve our lives. Firstly, let's look at our health and well-being. In these times, People around the world are beginning to come back to the basics of life, health, well-being and vitality. Can the abundant energy in me become so vibrant that the vitality in me keeps on and on expanding? Can I become a pillar of strength for myself? my family, my work friends, and my community at large. This is only possible if I have abundant energy to manage my life and to offer to everyone around. Vitality. The second aspect we look at after health and vitality is relationships. Can I offer abundant love, good cheer and friendship to everyone I know? If I constrain, restrict this flow of energy, this abundance in relationships, if I restrict myself, the flame in me becomes lighter. With this knowledge, let me abundantly give my time, my energy to people who, through my flame, transform, get lit, so that they themselves can glow on their own. Abundance in all my relationships with my parents,
spouse or partner, children, if any, extended family, brothers, sisters, uncle, aunts, nephews, nieces, grandparents, neighbors, work friends, my entire community. And now, to bring this abundance after health and vitality and relationships, let's bring this into our finances, wealth. May we live abundantly, may we receive abundantly, may we remember that everything we have, let us be grateful for, there are so many people who don't have the privileges that we do. May our finances be abundant always, so that we may be able to support ourselves, our aspirations, those around us, so that the health and well-being of everybody around us can be guaranteed with our financial abundance. And let us take this abundance to every other aspect of our life, wherever we feel we lack. Could be talent, could be work, love, anything. Let us thrive and not just survive. Let us become abundant with our energy, and once this flame within us becomes a bonfire, a fire, the sun itself, we can radiate abundance in every aspect. Let our house be one of abundance. The table that we set for food. Let abundance be there in our thinking, in our interactions with people in the love that we offer strangers, friends, family, in our finances, in our abilities to earn and support people. We are but passerbys here, travelers on planet Earth. Let us receive with grace, let us utilize what we have for people and not hold on to things. If the divine deems us worthy of life, 
We don't need to feel unworthy of life, of love, of abundance, of respect. May we always remember that life is the most precious thing. If the divine, if the cosmos deems us worthy of life, let us be open to receive every gift that there is. We are going to conclude this meditation by sitting in silence for the next three minutes, remembering all the abundance in our lives from our childhood, teenage years, young adulthood, and middle age, till we are sure that from a space of abundance we live our best life. And from a space of scarcity and fear, we are not natural. Therefore, it is in our best interests to live from abundance. For the next three minutes, sitting in silence. From the space, let us take on a resolve, a sankalp, a resolution to live a life of abundance for us and for everyone, for Mother Nature itself. I thank you for joining me in this abundance meditation. You're free to sit for a while longer. I look forward to meeting you the next time as we explore another meditation. Namaste.